Hello and welcome back. This is uh, chapter 58 of our Let's Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey and my name is Kira. Um, yeah, so the sound quality is probably not going to be that great at the moment uh, because for some reason um, the XSplit, uh, the noise suppression thing it has, has somehow like gone really really weird and is suppressing the freaking hell out of my voice. So I've had to go without any noise suppression, so you might hear some of the like the fan noise from my laptop, which is going to be a bit annoying, and for that I do apologize. Um, I also apologize for not kind of um, doing anything for a little bit, because I've been really, really sick. I'm still sick. Um, I don't know what to call it. I think it might be like something like the flu or the cold. I just have a massive amount of body ache, and I've been pretty much laid out for the last um, almost a week. Um, my parents came back from overseas, I saw them, and I, I swear they've given me something from Europe. I don't know what's going on, but I'm feeling absolutely horrid, which is why there is no cam, and why you're only getting um, the um, screen, because I look like a ghost, and honestly, I am mostly lying down in my chair right now, so it's a really awkward thing to try to film a camera thing with me mostly like laid out um so a lot of apologies there um but i wanted to make something to put on um the channel because i haven't done it in a while and it feels like really really shit that i haven't updated for ages um so i'm just gonna get this episode out and hopefully tomorrow i'll feel a little bit better so i can get you know a couple more episodes out and then i'll schedule them so that you get regular content um, and also get back on um, Red Dead Redemption and also um, actually film. See, Runner and I actually try to do a filming of um, the um, Return of the Aberdeen, which we absolutely loved playing. Um, and I'm going to try to get some of that footage in, but most of it is going to be like a replay that I'm going to have to do because there was so much downtime. Um, we've recorded like four and a half hours of it and then it took another four hours for us to actually work out um, the rest of the game. So I'm going to um, play it again and this time obviously knowing a lot more about the game. So it's gonna be a little bit cheaty, but um, I want to get the story of the Oberdeen out. Um, so this is like turning into a bit more like a channel update thing rather than um, just like, you know, a let's play uh, but I'm also planning to do um, a story recap and analysis of um, Papers, Please and all of the games that I'm going to play in the future so once I finish AC Odyssey I'm going to do a story recap um, episode to just get the whole story out it'll probably be hours long but um, I'll get it all edited and all set in and then I'm going to um, do a story analysis from the viewpoint of a wannabe writer. Um, I've got the training for it, I've got a degree in English literature and I want to do like an, um, a literary analysis of a game story and see how all of that is going to work out um, and see what the takeaway is supposed to be from a game or the takeaway that we could get from a game. If that kind of interests you, let me know. Um, if you think it's a terrible idea, let me know. But either way, um, let's get this ball rolling, shall we? I mean, I've just literally rambled for like four minutes. All right, so let's. Um, we're going to continue with um, the uh, delivering the champion. I know that the last episode sound quality was really, really shit. Um, so this one hopefully will be a little bit better. Um, there's, I don't know what's going on with the X split, but anyway, so we're just going to talk to this guy and get this ball rolling. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, you couldn't teach me anything. I like that. It sounds really sassy. Sounds exclusive, sounds a lot more diplomatic, and I don't know whether we should be going for more diplomatic. Um, but like arrogant and sassy, as much as I love sassy, is not really our Cassandra, is it? Like, our Cassandra is more the um, kind of practical sort of thing, and 
I think she's gonna be a, bit, a little bit more diplomatic, so let's go with sounds exclusive for now. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh. King Popsanias asked me to bring the Pankration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Cassandra of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, Testicles can be difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Right here. Um, I did not realize she was going to say that with such sarcasm. I love it. The actress really did an, a fantastic job with her. Like, it's... She really, really brings um, Cassandra to life. Like, in a way that is just amazing. Like, as much as I love the um, Arthur Morgan and his voice actor, I don't even know their names, and it's quite terrible that I don't. I should probably keep that in mind. But I'm terrible with names to begin with, so... Uh, please don't expect too much of me in that respect. But, um... Arthur Morgan's voice is really, really good, and I'm a voice person. I'm very, very big into voice actors, and, like, if a voice actor's bad, then that kind of ruins the suspension of disbelief for me, and I get snapped out of any immersion that I may or may not have. Um, game, anime, anything. And Arthur Morgan is fantastically acted. Um, and the gruffness, the... Everything is just fantastic. Um, Dutch is really well done. But honestly, for the games I've been playing this year, or last year, continuing on to this year so far, Cassandra really just takes takes it. Like, she just, you know, she just rules it all, and it's amazing. But anyway, just this is me fangirling a bit. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day, he knocked out six men and a bull, and he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Okay. Isolated training because he's too aggressive. I'm not sure if that's actually good for an Olympic champion or not. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there. Isolated. Away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Uh, I'm just gonna put it out there, but this does not sound like a good idea for him to be on his own. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling. A fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. Hmm, I get a bad feeling about this. Um. So the Pancreon is kind of like where the whole Spartan kick comes from, by the way. So it's not just like Spartans that used the Spartan kick. And I'm putting air quotes even though you can't see it. Um, because it was a tactic that was used widely in the Pancreon. So technically everyone in ancient Greece used it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messenia. Good luck. I have a feeling we're going to need that luck. Anything that'll make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. Right, so we're gonna have to resort to bribery to get this guy to the Olympics. Are you? Sh are we sure that this is a good idea? And we've also got side quests that we need to be doing. Um, I'm not gonna pick that up just yet, but have we synced yet? We've synced here so we can come back here and um, get that later. Um, so we need to go to look. Con we're in Laconia. Um, southern part of the forest of Eurotus. Forest of Eurotus. Southern part. This is a village. Uh, village of Githion. Okay, so this is where we need to go. Um, actually, let's aim for the fast travel point. And I'll run there. Um, and I will see you when I get there. Mostly because I've done enough rambling. Okay, so I got to the village. Um, pretty sure I'm in the right place. So I'll just get Icarus up and see if she can find. Uh, no. 
No, I don't want to destroy a silo. Come on, Icarus, honey. You know better. Some, she stick something over there. Okay, I'll just go and synchronize first. He said, um, oh, south of the... Spartans can build as many boats as they like, but Poseidon will never favor them as he does the Athenians. Well, that's a fair enough point. See, there we go. Now we're close enough. Icarus! Surely you could have seen from where we were before. I see her. Perfect. Alright, we'll go over there. But we'll go there in a sec. We need to synchronize. I've learned the lesson about, like, forgetting to synchronize and then having to run back or, like, swim back when um, I want to return to the location. So I'm not doing that again! <sighs> Some lessons just need to be learned. And even though it's been a while since I've played any games. <laughs> That's the shitty thing about being so sick. I actually couldn't play any games um, for, like... Uh, about four or five days um, and I swear I went to a little bit of a withdrawal um, it was actually really really weird because I was sleeping so much and then the body ache really did, doesn't help so on top of my stupid broken nerve I've got this stupid um, body aches on top of it and now just everything hurts um, and my nerve pain killers don't do anything for, you know, <laughs> body ache pain. So I'm taking like normal painkillers on top of everything else. Which I don't think is helping my stomach much. So I'm <gasps> feeling not very good. Slow day. Oh. I hope he comes back soon. Who's coming back? What's a slow day? Why is there a bear in the background? Let's not worry about the bear in the background. Hello? Sorry, closed. I need oh. oil. Then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. Oh. You're a slave? Oh. Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. How? Um... Uh... I'm not asking, tell me, okay, no, we're not threatening this poor little, like, poor lady, like, she's a slave, and she's, ugh, sounds terrible, um, can't we work something out, maybe we can work something out, like, can we, maybe, trade something, uh, I can pay you, um, or I won't put you in that position, if we don't put her in that position, we won't get the oil, we will fail our quest, that still might be the right thing to do. But if we pay her, then she can give the money to the master and maybe then it won't be stealing? Because we need the oil. Do we need the oil? It seems to be very much like a moral question here. Um, do we f force a slave who's already in a terrible position of being a slave to help us in our quest because we need to get our positions back in Sparta and our house back in Sparta or do we you know put her needs first and then not be able to get our quest done I don't know it's a moral quandary um I still think if we pay her she can give the money to the master and it's not stealing if we pay her right let's try that if it's a question of Drachmi, I can pay you for the oil. It's a question of trust. I know my master. He's kind but strict. My freedom depends on it. Oh, oh look, no, no. Oh, I'm, I'm not doing that to her. Don't worry. I won't get you into trouble. Time to get testicles. Okay, we're just gonna have to get him somehow. We're gonna have to convince him. We're going to have to knock him out and put him on a boat, something. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, he is in the southern part in the Bay of Hades in Messenia. So this is Messenia. Bay of Hades. Uh, Bay of Hades. Southern part. Hang on. When we zoomed out, there was... Yeah, there was two little islands here, so it's going to be this island or this island. 
I'm going to say this is the most southern part, so we're going to go over there. Um, as usual, because I hate taking my boat anywhere, because, you know, I hate naval combat, and we always get into naval combat, I'm going to run there, and swim there, and do other things. So, I will see you when I have run 2,635 meters. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long run. And I do apologize, but I will cut it all out so you don't have to watch it. Yay? No, probably not. Yay. But at least I get together some resources that I desperately need to upgrade my gear. Because we're still stuck on like level 20 something for some of our gear. And we're level 37. I mean, honestly, because I'm playing on normal difficulty, this is probably okay. But if I was playing on higher difficulty, um, I would probably have to grind out like the materials and stuff with side quests um, and other, you know, the miscellaneous quests that you get from the message boards just to be able to get my gear up to date, which is, it's probably a good thing I'm not playing on higher difficulties. Not to mention like, I probably just don't have the agility and um, good aiming sense to be able to do that to begin with. <laughs> um, I'm still... I've been playing with the controller for um, this and Red Dead Redemption for like months now and I'm still rubbish at trying to shoot anything with the freaking um, controller. So um, things that require like precision like Hitman, no freaking hell am I touching a controller with that, like there's just no way. Um, I tried once, I very very swiftly switch back to my um, mouse and keyboard, I just can't do it. I've just been a PC gamer for so long um, that the console and um, controller is still very foreign to me. It's like trying to undo um, a habit of nearly 20 years. Um, and then I'm always an MMORPG gamer, so there is a lot to be said there. Um, and like. Games that has an enclosed story that doesn't keep evolving is fantastic. Games that just have a story is fantastic. Um, I still remember getting my mind blown when I first played Mass Effect. Um, and I'm rambling again, whilst, after I promised that I wasn't going to make you watch as I tried to like run all the way um, to the freaking thing. But like... As an MMORPG player, you get used to not having much of a story. You get used to grinding. You get used to um, the combat mechanics being like the focus or like the raids or the guilds being the focus of your game. Um, and then when you start playing something like um, Mass Effect and you see that there's all these cutscenes and stories and everything that is just mind-blowingly fantastic, that just cuts through so much of it and honestly even after I get well I don't think I can return to MMORPGs um, there's so many games that I feel like I've missed out on um, and I'm going to be playing through a lot of games for their story um, and I guess that's the kind of the gamer I am I'm not about as much about the mechanics um, about the grind about um, the experience per se but more about the story and learning about the character designs and stories behind um, the games that I play. And in that, I've got a number of games I've downloaded, um, purchased on Xbox and the PC that I'm waiting to play for the story. Um, there's some games I've already played. Um, I'll be replaying some of those for um, Let's Plays. Um, and as I said, my plan is to do a Let's Play um, where we go through the story together and then do an, a recap of the story altogether and then an analysis of that said story um, from a literary perspective. Um, so I'm going to dust off my English literature skills <laughs> that I haven't used in a long time um, and see what we're going to do. Well, conquest battle available? Like, what did I do? I didn't do anything. Why is a conquest battle available when I haven't done anything? Did they just weaken on their own randomly? Anyway. Um, so, that's kind of the plan at the moment to see. That's kind of where I want to take the channel. Um, there's a couple of other things I want to do experimentally, but I won't be able to do that for some time, so we'll get that going later on. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's kind of like once I've come up with the plan, it's really nice to have a plan. I realize um, of where I want the channel to go, um, what I want to achieve with this um, whole YouTube thing. I'm not after a huge audience. I'm not after um, you know making money off YouTube, anything like that. Um, I want to give people a fun experience. Um, I want people to see games as a positive thing with fantastic stories being told and focus on the story and focus on what you get out of the games um, as a human being. Um, and that's what I want my channel to be about. Um, I also want my channel to be a reminder that games are fun. Um, not always in the haha, -ha, laughing, joking kind of sense, but fun in terms of a vast experience that you can share with other people. And I'm hoping that um, what I make in terms of this um, Let's Plays and all of that kind of reminds people to have some fun, to take games not as seriously as um, some other people do, um, and that it's okay to take it seriously if you're that kind of gamer but then if you're not that kind of gamer it's okay to take it casually to have a a let's just have fun let's see what we can get out of the game sort of experience to it because i think sometimes you know playing hitman and not going for silent assassin but going for a I just want to go on a rampage and kill everyone and see what happens sort of experience is fine and I think it's actually fantastic. Um, doing some crazy things in games like this where you just go into, not that I did this or anything, <laughs> go into a Spartan um, you know, stronghold and accidentally assassinate someone and then having to fight the entire Spartan army, um, things like that. Um, and just watching the chaos unfold. I think it's fantastic. I think that's kind of what, you know, people should experience in games. Um, especially because it's a single player experience that the ones that we're talking about. And you honestly, you aren't bothering anyone. It's just fun for you to have on your own, if nothing else. And I think it's completely worth it. But anyway, I will actually fast forward from this point because it's getting very, very silly with, with me just rambling. Okay. Right. So we've made it onto the island where Testicles is. Just another drink. The fortification improves the stamina. Uh, testicles! Why am I... Then training... Good for the constitution. Am I not yeah. surprised? Testicles the champion! Testicles the drunk is more like it. Oh my god! You're on an island by yourself to train, and guess what you do? You get pissed drunk every single day for like however long you were here. This is this is not gonna work out well. Like he is not going to be suitable or fit to be able to do this whole Olympic thing. Ah he's throwing up! Oh god, he's throwing up. Yeah, this is gross. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Oh god. Champion of throwing up, was it? Because I test it, please. Good. Great. Let's head sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. That's because you're too drunk. Ah, uh, get on my ship. That sounds threatening. Might not be the most diplomatic way. We sailed to victory. There's nothing to be nervous about. We'll be there, cheering you on. But... What if I don't win? They'll build statues and write poems about you. But first... We need to get you there. To the Olympics! The people need me! Oh dear lord. Well, we going? Yes, yes. <sighs> He'd better fucking win. Um, if he doesn't, we can kill him, Cassandra. Well... I I hope we can kill him. Please, 
please say that's an option. Pretty sure like we'll have a boat back here. They always like call our boat to like where we need to go for the quest, right? So ship dock. Let's go over there and hopefully our boat will be here and if not we'll call the boat and then we'll be able to go. Is our boat here? No, our boat is not here. Well, we'll call the boat. I will, I, yeah, I know I'm supposed to have, like, called my, you know, rode my boat here. But, like, I really don't like driving the Andrestia. And besides, I got so much leather and, like, wood and stuff on the way. Like, it's totally good. Okay? So, it's fine. Oh, God. Is he even on this boat? I don't know, but the marker's over there. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's on the boat. This... Oh, God. Barnabas is also drunk. It's an honor to sail with you. Your victory at the Pythian Games is legendary. Yes, I am. What made you kick him in the head instead Looks of like going for a crap? Felt like it. Ah, improvisation. Keep your opponent off guard. A good strategy. Strategies for people who don't hit hard enough. <laughs> oh god. I'm feeling for Horatus. I feel really, really bad for Horatus. Oh. Maybe, like, he trains so hard that his um, brain has turned into muscle? Or, like, he's drank his brain away with, like, too much alcohol? Or. I don't know. I don't, I've got nothing. Um, well, I will sail to at least where the Olympics are being held and I'll meet you there. I won't ramble this time. Sorry. Poseidon! Spare us! Are you scared? Why wouldn't I be scared? Poseidon is testing the address we are right now. Pray Athena she holds up. Why are we praying to Athena to hold to up the boat? Like, shouldn't we be praying to Poseidon? Oh, we're in a storm. We're in a bad storm. Like, the boat is moving at the speed of, like, a freaking snail right now. Oh, dear lord. Um, I don't think we've, like, been in a storm like this before. It's kind of cool. Kind of scary, actually. Like, honestly, the boat is not going anywhere. It is, like, moving at the speed of a snail. Get the oars out! Maybe I can pull my way out of here. Full speed! Get that sail down! Um. Okay, so we're gonna be at the speed of a snail but hopefully we'll make it to our destination in one pace and I'll meet you there when we get there. Mika, I'm gonna win! Are you excited for the games, Cassandra? Thrilled. Sparta! Woo! Stand where you stand. It's firmly planted, even in sand. Our spirits and soul Sparta never truly dies. Huh? It's a poem. A Spartan poem. Oh. Sparta! Woo! Oh god, I feel the pain of um Anyway, I feel Herodotus's pain here. I feel so bad for him. But hey, this is a chat. Is this Aki? Yeah, it's Archimedes. What the freaking hell are you doing here? Look what he's doing! Oh my god, what are you doing, Aki? Oh my god, you look ridiculous. Okay, let's just let's just get this over done with. Welcome to the Olympic Games. The party has officially begun. Archimedes. I'm uh, surprised you're wearing clothes. Mm -hmm. The day is young, little goat. Is that your new lover? His buff. Are you here to compete, Alcibiades? Of course. 
I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. <laughs> oh god, this is gross. Sure. Oh god. Who do you think will win the most wreaths this year? I will! Athens will surely rise. Ugh. To the occasion? I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pankration, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. That's a fault of most historians, but yes. Uh, unfortunately, it comes with the territory of being a historian. Um, but honestly, Alki, are you capable of speaking with our double entendres? Like, seriously. Are you just capable of it at all, without any innuendos? Like, because if you can, it'll be fantastic. Who's that? Oh dear. That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. No. I I've never been to the big buff guys anyway, so it's fine. Oh, unless we're talking about, like, you know, Chris Hemsworth, which is, like, totally different altogether. Because Thor is gorgeous. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner? You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as big. As your muscles. Yes, he is insulting you. You might not get it, but he is insulting you. Let's get going. Yeah. Oh god, this is ridiculous. I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. Mm. I likes to be oil. Well, that's obvious. Uh huh. Yeah. You know us. Ew. Come here. Gives us a hug. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Surely he can swim. Looks like you're the champion now. Huh? <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. <laughs> and you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Cassie. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Oh my god. I'm so. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I could not... Oh my god, I am like literally crying um, from all the laughter and my stomach actually hurts from all the laughter so I need to stop laughing. Oh, that is just epic. That... Wow, AC. Oh wow. Um... <laughs> it was so unexpected. And then the shark. Oh my god. And the Cassandra's expression was just brilliant. It was perfect. Oh my god. Ooh. Wow, um, that's the most amount of times I've laughed out of a video game like this, um, I think. I can remember in the past little while. Oh my god, that was just hilarious. Um, that was brilliant. Well done. Um, anyway. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I guessed this. I was like, are we going to become the champions? And how are we going to win the Olympics? Like, hey, I hit it on the nose. Uh, but freaking hell, that's hilarious. Where do I go to fight in the Pankration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. Of course you don't. No people die in these events. Yeah. YOLO? I think it's pretty much Alki's way of life. What else goes on, apart from the Pankration? There's Javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. Oh, God. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. 
Mm -hmm. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. Ew. Yeah, not into sweaty guys or girls. Sorry. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. <gasps> Uh, well, we delivered a champion in the form of ourselves, I guess, and we have to go somewhere, right, to do the rest of the quest, I'm guessing. Um, we're going to have to go to the, the contender. There we go. Find and talk to the Pancrean organizer. The Pancrean organizers in Elis, they're in the center of the Valley of Olympia, to the northeast of Ultra of Zeus. Valley of Olympia, right here. Um, so we're gonna go there next chapter and see what it means to compete in the Olympics because we're now competing in the Olympics. Um, I'm not actually quite sure if this is actually how Olympics worked exactly um, with males and females competing in the same um, events like this but then I don't know that much about Olympics so yeah anyway uh, thank you so much for joining me I know that this is probably a very short episode compared to the norm um, I'm hoping that since I was able to get out of bed today, that tomorrow I'll be able to feel a lot better and then be able to get more episodes out. Um, that's the goal at any rate. Um, and if that is possible, then you'll see a whole lot more um, come through and I'll have like a whole bunch of schedules so that, as I said, that there's going to be regular content on the channel. Um, but yes, I do really want to finish up with AC Odyssey and Red Dead Redemption as quickly as possible now because, um, as I said, I've got a plan of how I want to run things. Um, and then I'm probably going to do a number of um, shorter games and um, analyze those stories, um, including one of the games I'm really, really looking forward to playing, which is um, Life is Strange. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of um, tears involved, but... I am very much looking forward to playing it. So, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you'll come back for more. But most of all, as always, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Mwah!